Hello, Magic fans out there. If you're like me, you're really excited for the Theros Game Day event coming up this week in October 19th, 2013. We'll actually be having one ourselves, but what I'm really here to talk about is the coolest game that Wizards of the Coast has came out with for a while for Magic, uh, Face the Hydra. It's a new style of play where you can either be by yourself or with your friends facing against a mutual Hydra deck. It's completely self-running. All you have to do is flip the cards over and play the deck. So the, each tournament store that's hosting a game day event should have two of these decks floating around the store for you to use. And the rules, yeah, that takes a while to read them all, and you probably just want to jump straight to it and start playing them. And that's what this video is all about. It's a tutorial to tell you how to face the Hydra deck in under three minutes. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and show you the cards, show you how to play it, and if you can, share this video with as many of your friends as you can, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube videos, keep up to date. Alright, let's go ahead and get started and let me show you how to face the Hydra. Okay, so when you come to your store and you want to face the Hydra deck, you're going to need to ask your tournament organizer for the deck itself. He should have two of them floating around, along with this cool play mat, which will actually have the rules listed on there, so that way you know how to play, but you're watching this video, so you shouldn't have to read them. Before you begin, you're going to need to search the deck for the Hydra heads, these little basic things. This basically is the Hydra's life points. Your objective is to kill all the heads and get them all off the field. You're going to have the regular basic Hydra heads, the sorcery cards, which will be powers of the Hydra, and then you have the elite Hydra heads, which have special abilities and the harder to kill. So before you begin, you're going to choose how many of these basic Hydra heads you want. If you want to make it a real challenge, you can use the elite heads, but you want to start off with just the basic Hydra heads until you really understand the rules. Now, no matter what, you're going to have at least two heads to start off with, and that's easy, and then you have normal, hard, and you can make it as difficult as you wish. You, there's up to 11 of the Hydra heads, so you can have up to 11 heads on the board at once, and then there's also a few elite heads, and it's a 60 count deck. So you're going to have, so if you only start off with two heads on the field, you're going to have about a 10% chance of drawing more of them, which we'll go more into that later. First, after you choose the number of heads you want, which in this case I'll just pick two, we're going to then have to shuffle the rest into the deck, and then we'll go ahead and get started with the rest of the rules. Alright, like I said, I'm going to try to get this done in three minutes, so let's see if I can do it. Alright, so, after you have the deck shuffled, you're going to put it into the Hydra's Library Zone. This is going to be the Hydra's Graveyard Zone, so whatever you play cards, it goes to the Graveyard Zone. Now, you are always going to take the first turn, and you all take your turn simultaneously, but you don't share life points. So it's sort of like Two-Headed Giant, only you each have your own 20 life points to play with. So when you begin, you're going to try to kill the Hydra Heads as quickly as you can. Now, if you notice, the Hydras are creatures, and the Zero Threes which means that you have to deal 3 damage to get it off the field. You can use your creatures to attack them directly, almost as if they're a player, or you can use card effects such as Magma Jet or Sparks to deal the Hydra direct damage, and you have to deal 3 damage in that turn, just like how you try to kill any other creature. Other abilities such as Return Target Permanent to the owner's hand, or Return Target Creature to the owner's deck, um, they would just send it to the graveyard instead. So, uh, and that includes sending it to the deck, because even though that is theoretically possible, the rules say they just go to the graveyard anyway. Whenever Hydra's head is removed from the field and sent to the graveyard, you look at the top two cards of the deck, and look, we got a Hydra head. Any sorceries are sent to the graveyard, and any Hydra heads are put on the field. So even though we felt like we did something productive, we really didn't. Uh, we just got another Hydra head on the field, which makes the deck one less head, but... Again, the idea is to get zero heads in the field in order to win the game. Now, after you're done with your turns, it becomes the Hydra's turn. You untap any heads if any of them were tapped. Uh, we'll go more into that in a minute. And then you have the Hydra deck draw one card. It's a sorcery card. So you notice that it has no cost, so it gets to play it automatically for free. And then you just do whatever the card says. Now, these abilities get more... Some of these abilities are more powerful than others. Um... And some of the abilities actually include tapping the Hydra heads in order to use them. Those are the extremely powerful ones. If you draw a Hydra head, you just place it on the field, or if it's a lead Hydra head, you just place it on the field. After you're done doing what the sorcery card says, you end the Hydra's turn. The Hydra will then deal you each one damage per regular Hydra head that is untapped. Now, if you have an elite Hydra head on the field, though, it'll deal you two damage for elite Hydra head. 
as for everything else, things that uh, make uh, the deck usually um, uh, discard cards or things that would normally um, yeah normally discard cards or lose life. Um, that doesn't actually happen to the Hydra deck because, of course, those are impossible. Uh, but it can still mill cards from its deck because that is possible. All right. I know this video was quick. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. That's pretty much all the rules, though. So good luck at your game day event, and enjoy facing the Hydra.